uh, it's paused on me and I hate it when it happens because I got it back I got out of it perfectly fine All right, uh, diamond, uh, still says pending. I forgot PayPal or Cash App does that. Uh, still, okay, uh, I got, um, I got the notification at 6.59, and then it says you canceled it. So I don't know why the uh, thing was super delayed, but, uh, here, try sending it again. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know why. All right. I got that for you. Don't know why. Canceling, resetting. Okay. Okay, I got the notification that is canceled. Let's see. All right, resend it and see what happens. Hopefully, if it says pending, then um, I will just uh, I will just make sure to do it as soon as I'm done with the stream. But two, five people watching, two likes. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, if you guys do cash app, uh, just let me know. Uh, uh, PayPal is still all right. Let's see. All right, I'm going to get out of it. Let's see what happens. Okay, I accepted it. So I got that. Are we good on that end, Diamond? Because I just accepted it. I will reply back to you. But um, it should say it went. It should, because I. Okay, got it. All right. All right. Thank you, Diamond, for your purchase, and I will get these shipped out to you tomorrow. So, and if you got, if you don't mind letting other people know who are looking for stuff, uh. Huge thanks to Diamond for purchasing some Reed Detmer stuff. Eight people watching, four likes. Thank you guys for the support. Um, again, uh, anything is for sale. If you guys see anything, uh, I got Mobley, I got Cade Cunningham, Bobby Witt. If you're interested in like any Julio, I got Julio. But I do got your shipping information too. But yeah, just let me know. Let me know who else is in the chat too, so we can just chat about stuff. Cause I do got, I do. I'm gonna ask you guys some. So just let me know who's in the chat, and then uh, cause um, I got a question. If you guys are still here.
But yeah, again, just guys, let me know what you guys are looking for. Uh, um, if you guys want me to go through some stacks, I'll just I'll start going through some stacks and just let me know what stuff you want me to put to aside. But we got Kyler Murray rookie, Kyle Tucker, Jordan Alvarez. Ooh, WSU plays Utah. I'm a WSU Cougars fan, so they're playing Utah right now. But if you're interested in like Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez, I got his their stuff. Blake Snell at 299. Shane Bieber out of 150. Trevor Lawrence rookie. O'Neill Cruz. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Brandon Marsh, rookies. He's in the World Series, so his stuff might go up just a little bit. Brandon Marsh, Tristan McKenzie, Marcelo Meyer, Anthony Volpe, tons of Jordan Alvarez rookies. Those are like a couple bucks a piece. Jordan Alvarez, select rookie. Aaron Nola, first Bowman Chrome. Kyle Schwarber, first. Trey Turner, first. Ian Anderson, for uh, rookie. Andres Jimenez, icy foil board rookie. Anthony will pay first paper and Jordan Alvarez rookie card gallery. So again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Let me know who's in the chat in general, so we can talk about stuff like how our team's doing in the in the NFL. If you guys are Eagles fans, who you guys better be. Hope you guys are pumped because they're on a great roll. Nine, I'm a Niners fan and they are not doing well. We got Christian McCaffrey, which was a big thing, but Jimmy Garoppolo's been super inconsistent. All right. Thank you, Diamond, for your purchase. And um, yeah, have a great night. Um, and again, thank you for your purchase. Uh, I will get them shipped out uh, tomorrow because I got nothing tomorrow on a Friday. But again, guys, just let me know because. Half this stuff is going towards baseball for uh, travel baseball, and then the other half is going straight towards uh, for a, my New Year's rip. I'm trying to get as many boxes, blaster boxes, mega boxes, and hobby boxes as I can. It's going to be an expensive rip, but I'm hoping I can get a bunch because it will be very fun. Yep. Have a good night, Diamond. But just tons of stuff. Shay Lang out of 250. Ozzy Albies out of 99. Eddie Murray. Oscar Gonzalez first. Oswaldo Cabrera. Paulo Banquero. Uh, technically like his first Panini card. He had some autographs before, but this is like his first Panini basketball card. Anthony Volpe. Chrome. Anthony uh, Aaron Nola. First refractor. Winning combos. Uh, dual relic of Stockton and Carl Malone. And a Chris Paul relic out of a hundred just ignore that fifteen dollar sticker that's how my that's how i got it bought it really cheap so i had a little collection at the when i was younger so but anthony rendon uh helmet but tons of stuff So got tons of stuff. Again, let me know what stuff you're looking for. If you're looking for LeBron or Jaw, we got uh, stuff like that. We got rookie cards, tons of rookies. If you're looking for certain basketball, baseball, football players, I probably got them. If you're looking for like Bobby Witt or Julio or Torkelson, we got them. But just let me know what you guys are interested in. Shane McClanahan, rookie, that's not a bad one. Tweak Scooball, Vidal Brujan, Bobby Dahlbeck, uh, Nick Madrigal, Nick Madrigal, Dylan Carlson, Alex Kirloff, Dylan Carlson, Ian Anderson, Dylan Carlson, Casey Mize, Bobby Dahlbeck. Like, if anyone's interested in all of this, I can do, like, a dollar to two dollars a piece for these. Like, all these, I'm just trying to move, move all this stuff out. Like, if anyone's looking for any parallels or stuff, like a dollar for each one of these, a dollar to two dollars for like just tons of stuff. Tons of golds. I got like 25 gold parallels. I got a lot.
just more golds. Like, I think I got like 23, 24 golds, 22, 23, 24, something like that. Uh, out of 9.99, Patrick Corbin. Out of 9.99, Stan Mutual, Xander Bogarts, Alex Wood, Brian Reynolds, Kybert Ruiz, Herman Marquez, Luis Castillo to 500. Tons of stuff. Bowman trending at 3.49 of Albies, Luis Hill out of 2.99, Jorge Polanco, Mondesi. I remember pulling one of these, and I was super confused because I didn't see these parallels on the odds until Series 2. But, I mean, I like these parallels. They're really cool. They used to just be like that, where they it wasn't like how Series 2, like, look at, if you guys look at, the, if you guys see the difference, Series 2 is that. They didn't do that. It's like they just rushed these parallels, and they just kind of didn't finish them all the way. But look at the difference compared to the numbering. It's like, it's more... I don't know what you call it. It's more like it looks like a sticker sticker on it, but this one's more like it's imprinted into the card, which is pretty cool. I like that better than how the golds used to be like that, where now the golds are like where the golds are like this now. I like it that way. Uh, Joey Votto, that one's out of 199. Ryan McMahon out of 199. Nelson Lamont out of 199. That's from Series 2. Uh, Gregory Polanco, that one's out of 175. 15 to 175. I don't know what his jersey number is. Miguel Cabrera out of four, 149. Tommy Edmond out of 99. Astadio out of 99. Josiah Gray Heat. Out of 99. Brady Singer out of 99. JJ Ghost out of 99. Like this one. this So like this is regular Bowman. This is Bowman with Bowman Chrome. It's like that. And I didn't notice this, but the JJ Ghost, it's like that. It's just they just. But that's how all the Bowman draft paper parallels are. But, I mean, if you guys are interested in anything, just let me know. Any players, teams, five, five likes. Thank you guys for the support. If you haven't already, hit that like button and let me know. Let me know what you're interested in. Let me know who's in the chat in general. In general, Max Kepler. This is, I believe, this is the first rare short print. They got the Max Kepler image variation. Michael Conforto image variation and Anthony Rendon image variation. These are from series two, and then this one's from series one. I didn't know this was an image variation until I went through and I found this one. But that's a really cool photo. I've had that one for a long time. Like before I even started the channel, which was a long time ago. But if you guys look for any players or teams in general, particular teams, I got Evan Mobley, Cade Cunningham, Devontae Smith, Mikey Williams, Scotty Barnes, Shea Lang out of 250. Ozzy Albies out of 99, Eddie Murray, Oscar Gonzalez, Oswaldo Cabrera, Paulo Bancaro, Anthony Volpe, Aaron Nola, first refractor, John Stockton, Carl Malone, dual relic, and a Chris Paul out of 100, all star relic. Then we got these relics uh, Anthony Rendon, commemorative batting helmet, Masahiro Tanaka relic. Julio Arias Relic, Gregory Polanco Relic, Clint Frazier Relic, Daniel Johnson Relic, Brian De La Cruz out of one nine, or 250 Relic, David Calabrese Auto, Glenn Auto RPA out of 199 Again, just let me know what what you guys are looking for. If you guys are looking for like parallels or memorabilia cards or rookies, got this stack right here. Uh, Bobby Witt, Key Brian Hayes, Luis Robert, Bobby Witt, O'Neill Cruz, Luis Robert, Ryan Mountcastle, O'Neill Cruz, Jason Dominguez, Bobby Witt, Jackson Churio, Khalil Watson, Bobby Witt, and Town Pipeline of two really good uh, Orioles players. Yusnel Diaz isn't one of them, but Mountcastle and Adley Rushman. 
focus. There we go. Nice little shine to that. Four people watching, five likes. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, if you haven't already hit that like button, and again, let me know what you guys are interested in. Got a Rocky Blyer relic. Tyler Johnson relic. Jesus Aguilar relic. Adam Hall relic. Gray Fenter fragments of the farm. And Chandler Parsons out of 99. From 1516 NT. This is the... Highest end relic I've ever seen. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Fifty six ninety nine. It's the highest end relic I've ever seen. It's not a really good player too. If it was like different year, but it's like you see that Luke, Luca, nope. Chandler Parsons. But if anyone's interested in any autos or anything. Got some of these coins. Uh, LeBron, Her two Herbert Jones, and a John ja Morant. Mm -hmm. That's my phone went off. Uh, but again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. If you guys are looking for Kyler Murray, Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Jordan Alvarez. I got tons of Jordan. Trevor Lawrence. You guys are looking for any graded if you guys are looking for a graded jaw Morant rookie card let me know it's a bgs 952 and it's a jaw rookie eddie murray that's a short print got a joe burrow second year red wave uh dark Liz dennard out of 25 that's just a really cool short print of a guy who's not even in the league. Two Ty Ty Washington. He's supposed to be really good. Yannick and Zosa out of 299. Buddy Boheim out of 299. Harrison Ingram. That one's out of 250. Kawhi Leonard out of 199. And then tons of golds as well. Just let me know what you guys are interested in. I got Logan Cerny out of 399. Ed Howard out of 250. Or no, not. Yeah, 250. It's really hard to tell. Uh, Adrian Morihona out of 250. Ethan Hankins out of 250. Brian Maida out of 99. Austin Hendrick out of 99. Zach Veen out of 99. Yasmani Grandowell out of 50. Cavaco out of 50. So again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Got tons of stuff. Let me know if you guys are looking for ton like lots. Because I can do a deal on a bunch of this stuff. Because it isn't too crazy. If you guys want to see a, any graded stuff, I got a BGS 95 John ja Morant rookie card. So just let me know if you're interested in that. Or Julio Rodriguez. I've got this. Daniel Cabrera 99 plus. Unused 250 Panini points. That's just the code to... Uh, the Panini Rewards app. But just let me know what you guys are interested in. We got tons of rookie cards. Again, just let me know if you guys are looking for a whole deal for tons of stuff. We can do a deal on those. Or like a whole deal on like Jordan, Cal Tucker rookie cards. Just let me know. Just let me know what you're looking for. Uh, Anthony Rendon commemorative batting medallion six likes five watchers thank you, uh, three watchers thank you guys for the support I really do appreciate it and again if you guys are interested in anything just let me know got tons of rookie cards seven likes three watchers thank you guys so much for your support I really do appreciate it uh, sorry about the de uh, delay uh, last stream I was busy doing some chores real fast and then uh, the last stream I had to help Diamond because uh, she did Cash App and I forgot Cash App. I just started the Cash App and you have to accept it. You have to accept it. So I had to exit out and I accid accidentally pressed the end stream button, which was right next to the home button. So that's why. But again, just let me know what you guys are looking for.
And let me know who's in the chat in general. We can talk about stuff because I do got a question to ask you guys in your guys' opinion. So just let me know. But if you guys are looking for any players or anything, if you guys are wanting me to pull out some of the higher end stuff, just let me know. Because I can do that. So I got some high end stuff. But yeah, just let me know. So, I mean, I'll probably go live again sometime this weekend. I'm not sure yet. I might do a Friday night live sale. I'm not sure. Depends. Because it is uh, the weekend before Halloween, so I might go hang out with some of my friends and stuff. And then I start up, because I'm homeschooled, so I start up school next week. So, videos will be limited. But, like, if you guys are looking for any, like, this stuff, like, really cool older pat relics from like the 2000s i got a john stockton carl malone dual winning combos relic and a chris paul out of a hundred relic uh it's not really 15 bucks that's how it, the top loader came when we bought it back then it was probably back when, when this top loader was in this card it was probably 15 bucks but it's not worth that much anymore it's not worth Nearly as much as that. But again, just let me know what you guys are looking for. I do got some other stuff. Just let me know what you, if you guys are interested in look, seeing that stuff. But we got th three watchers, or three watchers and seven likes. Thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. Again, just let me know. Like all these, I can do a dollar to two on. These are just really cheap. Chief rookies of players in the postseason in the World Series. And then you got like Kyler Murray rookie card. But just overall, tons of stuff. Again, all this half this is going to um uh fundraising for baseball, and then the other half is uh the other part is going straight to uh for new new year's eve rip because um i can show you guys and then so i got I'll start from like the lowest end, but I got, again, I got six boxes, four, uh, three people watching, seven likes. Thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. Here's one of the lowest end boxes. I got a Series 2 blaster box for New Year's. Looking for Julio out of that. Julio short print, a gallery blaster box. Looking for the Mona Lisa case hit. Super short print. Uh, Prestige, we're looking for... Uh, case hits there's tons of case hits and prestige so and you get like two number cards per box so that'd be pretty good to get but prestige 2022 chronicles football box a little smash but looking for mac jones basically all the top quarterbacks but they're having down years and of course my dude trey lance got prison basketball 2021-22 got a Optic, this is the best retail box I have so far. The Optic Blaster Box, hoping to hit it. Where's it at? Where's it at? The Ultra Rare Downtown Insert. And then we got the only hobby box for so far. Uh, Pro Debut Hobby Box, four autographs. Um, I've opened up. I've opened up one hobby box every year it's came out since 2020. I mean, it's a great product, really great product. And then, I mean, it's, I mean, the autographs, they're not crazy valuable unless if you hit like a parallel. 
But I mean, four autographs for seventy bucks. You can't beat that. Twenty four packs. But I mean, Jason Dominguez is in it, so that's a big chaser. Marcelo Mayer, Henry Davis. I mean, the big chasers are the Jason Dominguez autos. The one of one's already been pulled, but I mean, we can hit a one of one insert auto of Jason Dominguez and be perfectly fine. But every single blaster has high hit, big hit potential. So, but I'm gonna. That's all the blasters I'm getting. Everything else is gonna be straight hobby. So that's why I'm doing all these sales because I'm trying to get some money for the because it's going to be really expensive because i'm trying to get update updates and be most expensive one right now until like other products come out but that's why i got a bunch of this stuff to sell but again just let me know what you guys are interested in what we got patrick corbin at 9.99 stan mutual xander bogarts these are at 8.75 they're from the complete set. The other one I have, uh, I already, I can't remember what I did. I think a trader was sold. I can't remember. Uh, Luis Castillo, that one's out of 500. Back with the Reds. In update, he has a series, uh, he has a Mariners card, so I'm going to look for that. And then Seth Brown's in that too, so I'm going to be, I'm excited to rip it. It comes out tomorrow, but I've seen other, seen people already open it today. I mean, the, it's going to be crazy. I mean, retail is going to be just as crazy. I'm going to at least, I'm going to make an exception. Just get one blaster box of update and then get a hobby box. But who knows? I might get a blaster box, a, a hobby, and a hobby jumbo. I'm not sure yet. But because all the top rookies have uh, home field advantages. Well, not all of them. Uh, the big three have one. Bobby Witt, Julio Rodriguez, and Spencer Torkelson. And then Seiya Suzuki has one as of now. But the big one is the Julio Rodriguez, so I'm going to look for that. But three people watching, eight likes. Thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. Huge shout-out to Diamond Princess. She bought some Reed Detmers cards, including a Reed Detmers short print a few moments ago. So, again, if you guys are interested in anything, let me know. Let me know who's in the chat in general. And I got a question for you guys. Would you guys, if I bought a few, like, blasters after New Year's, would you guys be interested in buying a spot for like a little group break if I did one? Like a couple blasters. Good blasters though from Walmart. And then do like like team spot or division spot or uh like packs. I might do something like that. I'm not sure yet. But that's crossing the mind right now. So just let me know. But I mean, we got tons of stuff. Yeho Pazo, Zach Pop, Rock Burke, Dom Nunez, Grant Holmes, Joey Cantillo, and Daniel Cabrera out of 99. He was a first-round draft pick in 2020. And then unused 250 Panini points. So, again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. But I got tons of variety, tons of top rookies. Got um, Cade Cunningham, John Morant, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Luis Robert, Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Torkelson. Oh, prospects of Smith Torkelson. I don't have any rookies of him. Uh, where is that one at? Uh, this guy who's been balling it out i think he's, he's got five games where he's scored over tw uh, 20 points that's first time in nba history that's happened five his starting five games he's had plus 20 points as a rookie so i mean i was hoping to check home green went first but i mean it still it, it stinks because he's out for the year so this chronicles draft picks might go down a, f a little bit just because of that but i mean i'm, I'm gonna get one just to hit Chet Holmgren, but I mean, I'll take a Paulo Bancara or a Jabari, Jabari Smith. I mean, why not? Let's take one of those. Call it good. Out of a $150 box. If it is going to be $150, i am not sure that's what the pre-sales are on eBay, like what people are doing, but last year they were like $350 a box for two packs of the 
but then they went down like 150 because i mean with the draft picks it's gonna be high vet dollar for all the pros uh, for all the rookies at the beginning but as soon as like retail comes out and retail is gonna flood it it's just gonna it's gonna come down it's gonna get watered down but i mean hobby is the way to go for panini products because of the numbered stuff numbered stuff is the way to go hobby is the way to go for panini products to get numbered stuff because i mean you at least get numbered stuff in hobby and panini hobby boxes where in tops you're not even guaranteed a, a numbered gold car gold parallel in uh, uh top series one so but again there's tons of stuff i'll go on for a few more minutes just let me know what you guys are interested in And again, I was able to, uh, I was, I got a notification from YouTube and I unlocked the feature where I can post, uh, like do posts on my channel. So I did one earlier about the stream and stay tuned. Cause I might put some like my better stuff up for sale through the eBay or through the posts. So just let me, so just be on the lookout for that. That might be after sometime in november because i'm going to take a bunch of my stuff to the a card show and someone's cash too is going to go because if if because it's at the same place i went to my first card show at, and there's a vent de a dealer there who had tons of sealed products including hobby so i might see i might even get a donner's baseball hobby box that stuff is so good but who knows maybe this year might be the last year we see uh donner's or it could be the last year we see donner's with no logos so that'll be good. Like next couple years, we'll see all these with logos, but not right now. But two people watching, eight likes. Thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think if I should do a uh, little small group break in the future with a few boxes, uh, like a few retail boxes. If you guys would be interested in that or me buying some product and then selling it and rip ripping it for you guys on the streams because i can do that but again just let me know what you guys are looking for we got jaw herbert jones lebron coins if you guys are looking for any graded stuff i got a Le uh not lebron jaw morant uh jaw morant bgs95 rookie so just let me know but tons of parallels like these are a, like a dollar a piece a dollar to two dollars a piece I mean, all these Jordan cards, Aaron Nola. The Aaron Nola ones are a little bit more valuable. This one's a little bit more valuable, too, because it's a gallery. I mean, that one's a really cool picture, though. I mean, this one's a few dollars more. I think it's like four bucks. Same with, like, the Volpe. And then starting this stack, the cards get, like, the three, four dollars. These are, like, two dollars a piece. So again, just let me know if you guys are interested in the entire stack. I can do a deal on that. I got if you guys are looking for any relics or uh, medallions or autographs, we got a bunch of those too. All these are we got the Rendon, Badning Helmet, Masahiro Tanaka All Star Game Relic, Julio Arias Opening Day Relic, uh, Gregory Polanco Dual Relic from Chronicles, Clint Frazier out of Holiday. Daniel Johnson, Dual Relic, Brian De La Cruz, Silver Select, Napkin Patch, out of 250. Golden State's winning by one through one quarter. Uh, here's a David Calabrese with a nice looking auto. He was, he's, he was the third Angels draft pick in 2020. Haven't heard of him. He might be like Mike Trout. Uh, Glenn Otto with a really interesting looking autograph. Uh, napkin Relic Auto RPA out of 199 70 of 199 Again, there's tons of relics and stuff. Just let me know what you guys are interested in. These ones are really cool. I mean, 
they I wish they kind of done something better uh, for update, but they did the same thing with this. I mean, these cards are really thick and they're heavy too. Like the pack weighs way more than the box in general. But uh, I kind of wish I kind of wish they could bring back the retro, the retro rookie card, rookie logo medallions they did in series one of 2020 they stopped doing that because they did the player medallions in series two and update i wish they could bring those back i know in the update jumbos there's going to be a jumbo card with the reprint of rookie the rookie reprints which would be pretty cool i like the throwback rookies like reprint rookies that are really cool for like medallions or relics stuff like that i mean i'm not a huge fan of like the stuff because they printed so much of it where it doesn't hold as much as the rookie medallions there. It shows it's a picture of the rook. It's the picture of the rookie card, but it's with the medallion in it, which is pretty cool. But again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Got a Topps Chrome Black Key Brian Hayes. These are not very tough to pull, or not very common, because, I mean, it's two base cards and a parallel in a pack with an auto, uh, encased auto. So, I mean, it's what, like a 300 card check, 150 card checklist. So, it's tough to pull any rookies, yet even the good one. Uh, Bobby Witt. Uh, but we got Luis Robert, Bobby Witt, O'Neill Cruz, Luis Robert. Again, Ryan Mountcastle, O'Neill Cruz, Jason Dominguez, first Bowman. Was rated number one prospect in his international class by MLB.com and Fangraphs. So he's the number one prospect in his class. International class. I mean, he was draft. He was. He's not. He's. He will be twenty next year, February seventh. He'll be twenty. So, it was crazy. He was seventeen when this card when this card came out. Now he's twenty. That's crazy. It's it'll be three years. Three years since this product just came out, which is crazy. Because I started collecting when Bowman came out. I, or I started I started with, um, I started my uh, channel. And Bobby Witt, he was born in 2000, so he's 22. But he's in the big leagues as well. Jackson Churio, he is, he's only 18 right now. He'll be 19 next year in, on the 11th. And then 2003, we'll start seeing players drafted in, uh, who are drafted will be born in the early 2000s because we're already in the 2020s. But he'll be 20 on the 16th of March or April. And then O'Neal Cruz was born in 98. Mountcastle was born 97. That's fun to look through the back to see those ones already. Key Brian Hayes was born 97. All those... Two people watching, eight likes. Thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. Again, I'll probably go live for a few more minutes. Just let me know what you guys are looking for. Most of the stuff, most of the money I make will go straight towards, because uh, it will go towards uh, stuff for New Year's, because I'm trying to earn some money for New Year's. And hopefully you guys will be there to watch as we're doing pack battles, because it will be me and Colin pack battling. I'm trying to get a few more hobby boxes, but it's not it's not gonna be cheap. So I'm doing this, trying to make some money. Uh Blake Snell at two ninety nine. But uh, just let me know what you guys are interested in. I'll go for a few more minutes. Just let me know what you guys are looking for. And any parallels or rookie cards. Got Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh, Red Foil. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, Red, White, and Blue, Marcelo Mayer, 
uh, Anthony Volpe, when was he? 2001. Jordan, just tons of Jordan Alvarez stuff. Three people watching, eight likes. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I know other people are on right now, but thank you guys for stopping by. Again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Got tons. I got Trey Turner. Trey Turner first, Bowman, Paper. Aaron Nolan, Kyle Schwarber first, Bowman's Chromes. These are really good because they're in the World Series, which is pretty cool. Even though Schwarber used to be on the Cubbies. Ian Anderson, rookie. Andres Jimenez, Anthony Volpe. Hopefully he'll be called up next couple years. I mean, next year or so. And Jordan Alvarez. Rookie card. He was signed by the Dodgers. But Topps Gallery rookie. Again, just let me know what you guys are looking for. Just let me know what you guys are looking for. I'll go on for a couple more minutes or so. A huge thank to thanks to Diamond Princess for purchasing some Reed Detmers cards. She bought Reed Detmers rookies plus the Reed Detmers rookie short print, which is pretty sick. I pulled that one a few days after he threw his no hitter, and his cards were really good. And I decided to hold on to it, but I could have made way more money back then. But hopefully, but good luck to you, Diamond. If you hold on to that, hopefully he'll have a big breakout second year or third year, pretty much. Hopefully this guy will have a breakout good World Series, his first World Series appearance as a rookie. And I got three rookie cards of him. And then you got Kyle Tucker. Where's he at? Right there, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker, Jordan Alvarez, Marcelo Meyer, but Jordan Alvarez, Aaron Nola, Trey Turner first, Kyle Schwarber, Ian Anderson, Andres Jimenez, Volpe, and Jordan Alvarez. Just let me know what you guys are interested in. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you are new in the stream. Hit hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Um, I will I will be doing some posts on the community tab because I just unlocked that today. So uh, make sure you guys uh hit that subscribe button if you are new. And um, I forgot what I was going to say. I can't remember. I cannot remember for the life of me. It will come back to me. Oh, uh, one of my goals is trying to get 250 subscribers by the end of New by New Year's, by the time we're starting the stream for New Year's Eve. Rip, um, we're at 226, so we've got 23, 24 more to go. So hopefully you guys can hit that subscribe button if you are new. If you don't mind sharing, let other people know. Got Eddie Murray short print. These are pretty cool. These are one and one per hobby, but I mean they're tough to hit in like short, like no names or parallels. But nice one. Oscar Gonzalez had a great postseason. Oswaldo Cabrera had a great postseason. Ben Caro's having a great rookie season. Volpe's a top prospect. Aaron Nola's having himself a career or his a season right now. Two of the best Utah Jazz players ever. Carl Malone and John Stockton. And it, like this is how the older relics used to go because they, they have it like that. Which is pretty cool. But if you guys are interested in these, just let me know. A few bucks, uh, like 10 bucks a piece on these. Chris Paul, all-star relic out of 100. And John Stockton, Carl Malone relic. So yeah, just let me know. Let me know what you guys are looking for. W shoes through a 29-yard touchdown. Go Cougs. 
But yeah, just let me know what you guys are looking for. Let's stack. There's tons of stacks. Logan Cerny. It's a first Bowman position player. He was 295th overall, though. So, five picks below the th below 300. So, he's a top 300 pick. Uh, Ed Howard out of 250. He was, I believe, the 16th pick or something like that. But, again, just let me know what you guys are interested in. Got tons of stuff. Moray Hone. Ethan Hankins was the 35th overall round one pick, free agent. Round one pick, Austin Hendrick. Zach Vina to 99. Yasmani Grandowell, that's a white out of 50. That was pulled from a blaster, which is pretty sick. And then Keone Cavaco out of 50. But these were before blasters are like $30 a piece now, which is crazy. 12 cards in a select blaster box, and it's $30 a box. $30 a blaster. And I think Panini just watered it down pretty much. But Panini is getting ready to lose it. Hit them in tops because Fanatics is taking over. But Okay, that will probably do it for me. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, thank you guys for your purchases. To those who have purchased throughout the streams. Uh, but thank you guys so much for your purchases. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for being a supporter of the channel. And until next time, uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.